If you use Calendly to schedule new meetings with clients and customers, you can automatically add those new contacts to your SmartSuite CRM. Or if the contact already exists within SmartSuite, you can add the meeting link or some other type of data associated to that booking directly to the contact within your SmartSuite CRM. I'll show you how in this video, so make sure you check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our website, innerdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. A couple things to mention before we get started, we will be using relay.app. Relay is the workflow automation tool that we will use to connect to Calendly and to SmartSuite. So very quickly, new booking will occur from Calendly that will get added to, to your Google Calendar or whatever calendar system you use. So that's done directly through your Calendly integration. Relay will be notified of that new booking from Calendly, and then it will go through the process of searching for that new contact or looking for the previous contact in SmartSuite. If it's not found, then it will create the new contact in SmartSuite. You will need to create a Relay account. You can get started for free. I do have a link in the description below to get signed up. Same thing for SmartSuite. If you do not have an account already, there is a link in the description below to get signed up. Once you go into here, you can create a new playbook. And then from here, you can label it whatever you want. And we need to start a trigger. So the first thing, really simple, we'll click trigger. We'll go down to Calendly. And if you have not authenticated your account, you will have to do so really easy. You'll just click on it and log in or add your API key, depending on the service you're using. Once you have authenticated your account, we can go to Calendly here and we will do a newly scheduled event. We can select it. And then the event type, we are going to select my free consultation call. So anytime a new free consultation call gets booked, that's when the rest of the workflow and automation will trigger and be fired. So we'll do free consultation call. You have an option to add additional events, but I will just select that for this video. And it provides you with some data from a previously scheduled meeting. So you can see all this information for testing purposes. So once we have scheduled the new call or once one has been scheduled and you've added the trigger, we can go to the next step which is going to be a update Google calendar event. So we're going to update an event and we can do, go down to here and do get event and it will automatically populate this step for us. So from here, we want to get to the event that was just scheduled. So from our primary calendar and the search query is just going to simply be click plus icon go down to the Calendly scheduled event, and then we'll do the ID of event and synced calendar. If no events are found, we're going to leave that to fail because we will not want the automation to continue. The update event we'll actually use in a following step. It's going to be in a different path. So we can actually delete this for the time being, and we will add another step here. So this step, I'm going to go down to smart suite. If you used Airtable or some other CRM, you could go ahead and select that option as well, but I'm going to dive into SmartSuite here. So we'll go SmartSuite. Again, you'll have to authenticate, but once you've done so, you can select this get record. And then from the table here, I'll select the table that I want to access. I'm going to populate a few of my workspaces. So I want to make sure I go in and select my proper workspace and I select proper tape. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click this add search criteria, and I'm going to go down to contact email. And I want to get the record where the contact email is exactly the email from the invitee. So this is going to be the Calendly invitee email, and I'm going to be looking for any contact that has this email address associated to it. So this is the first step to finding and determining which path we need to take. So do we need to take the path of we're adding a new contact or are we taking the path of we're adding a new calendar booking or event to 
a contact that already exists within our smart suite CRM. Once we have these first two steps done, we can go down to this plus icon here and we're going to select the path. So we've got a path A and a path B. Path A is going to be if contact found and the rule that's going to apply, we can leave it as when all rules apply because we're just selecting one. So what this is going to be is we're going to go down to the smart suite get record and it's going to be really any of these, but I'll just use a contact ID is set. So basically what this means is that as long as a record has been found, we will go down this path, meaning it's found a contact. We're going to update that contact record with the event or URL or whatever we want to do, whatever the process needs to be. I'll save this. I'll add a new step and I'm going to scroll down to smart suite again, and I'm going to update a record. I'm going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to jump into my smart suite solution. I already have one created and we're just going to work with inside this contacts table. So this is how I have it set up. You have your status, my meeting links. For the purpose of this tutorial, there's just a couple fields that I'm really concerned with. And that's going to be this meeting links field, the contact name, contact email, and maybe the company field as well. Really simple setup here. Now you know what it looks like for when I'm adding information from this relay. So I've now selected, we're going to update the record. We're going to update the record that was found in this previous step here. So I'll just select record. We'll go add a field and we'll go down to the meeting links. There's a lot of different things that you could do. I'm going to create something really simple. All that we're going to do is we're going to add this Google meeting link, the meeting links field here within smart suite. So once I've selected the field, I'm going to sign a value and it's just going to be the URL. Now that that's completed. I can go over to path B and I'm just going to leave this as is. So basically if no contact is found, we're going to go this route. And all we're going to do is we're going to add a new contact to smart suite. Now we can click add step. We'll go to smart suite. We will create a new record. Again, you'll need to go in, select your table from the drop down list here. And it's just going to be my contacts table within my sales CRM. A few fields we're going to add. We'll add the company. We'll add contact email. We will add contact name and we will add meetings link. We can add some text, which is going to be from the Calendly option here. We'll add the comp company name again from Calendly. We'll add the invitee email and we will do invitee first name and we can even do the invitee last name. And then the last step, we're just going to move in that link from the Google calendar event option here. So this is the only one that's going to be a little different. We'll select a different step and just assign the URL of the event to it. A couple other neat things within relay is there's this review tab. So basically what it allows you to do is we can double check before it gets created. We could select that and I'm going to, for the purpose of this tutorial. And so basically what's going to happen is when this automation fires and it takes this path and it's going to go create this new contact. If I select this, no review required, create automatically, it will just automatically create that contact for us. That's probably not a big deal. You can select that in this type of circumstance, but the really nice thing, and probably for other types of situations and workflows, you would want to double check before it got created. So that would just give you a notification of some sort, and you can just double check that you do want that contact to be added. I'll select that for this route and we are ready for some testing. As I showed you, I have already created an event that I want to find. So I'm just going to go up here and we're going to give this a test to see how it works. So we'll create the test run and I'll do start run. And because it found an email address that matched, so the new booking match an email address that already existed the only one that we have within our CRM. So it took the path where if a contact is found, we're going to update 
this meeting links field with the Google Calendar event. So now I could just very easily click this link and it will take me directly to the Google Calendar event and then I can click the meeting link or my meeting notes or whatever your process is. Now I'm gonna test this again. I want it to take the other path. So I have created an event with a new user that does not exist within my smart suite solution. You can see here, I only have one contact for the time being. So I'll go back over here, here. I will test, I'll create a test run and I will start the test run. It's going to go through each step here. And then as long as everything's set up correctly, it should find the path. As you can see, it already produced an error. So because there's an error, we need to go back and look through what happened here. So it threw an error at this step. Now, when I look a little bit closer here, I can see that if no records are found, it's set to fail. It's automatically going to throw an error and fail. And the rest of the scenario or the rest of the steps will not occur. It's important here that if you do have a process conditional logic where if it's found or if it's not found, we want to continue anyway. I'm going to flip this to if no records are found, continue because the further steps are going to understand what to do with the data at that point in time. We can give this another shot. I'll click test again and click create test run and start run. Now we can see it's fire again and everything's working properly. Now it should complete, which it did. We can see that it chose path B and it's created a new contact for us. We can see here that it says double check. So if I go up to inbox and I also would have received an email saying that this needs to be double checked. And if you recall that if I go into the playbook, select path B and select here, I have chosen this double check before we create under the review tab here. So it's working properly. I'll just skip over that and it has the option here. So I can click into it and review what's going on. If I need to make some changes, I can just backspace this and manually type some additional data, but everything looks good and click looks good run now. And the automation will continue. If I go into my smart suite solution, we can see here that a new contact has been added with the email address, the company name and the meeting link. So again, if I click this, it'll take me to my Google calendar and open up that meeting link. Once you've tested everything, if it's working properly, each scenario or each step, then you can go back to your playbook and we can just toggle this on. And then now anytime a new Calendly booking gets created under that event type, the automation will fire and it will go through the logic that we have provided. Obviously you can add to it to make it more advanced to your specific needs. This should be enough to get you started. And I actually use a playbook that's similar to this and really simple within my own workflow. And it does definitely speed up some of my tasks that I have to perform on a daily basis or a few times a week at the very least. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button so you get more tips and tutorials in the future. Thank you.